So like, it's clear that you know um, th there are uh, s some good good genes, and I just you know I happen to find also an environment early on um, where I lived near Oslo, which had um, the probably the best chess environment there was in in Norway at the very least, where there were. Um, I had access to to coaches, and I had access to like a little training group of of other ambitious kids. Um, after that, you know, um, I think the most important thing that I've that I've done is that I haven't really listened to people who want me to do things like a certain way because that's the way things have always been done, especially with uh, the Soviet chess school that was the dominant one for for so many years. So I've always sort of gone my own way, uh, tried to have as much um, fun. Everything has to be about enjoyment. And yeah, I, I, I cannot tell you why, but I just like understand the game better, better than the others. Like I, I'm I don't calculate necessarily as far as the other, but my intuition, like for short lines, um, constantly evaluating is is just is just better. It's just it, it's always just such an interesting thing to analyze, like high performers, you know, and just to wonder like what it is that separates high performers. When you say your father started playing late, how old was he? Oh, I think he started playing. Um, about 14 15 something <laughs> like that I, I in in chess that's that's right but he never he never like <laughs> took it took it seriously enough right that, that right. he wanted to like he, he pursued it but um, as a hobby as, been, as, as a hobby yeah. well you when you say take it seriously you mean like you do yeah, right. Yeah. What, this is what makes me think about epigenetics. Like, I, we we still don't exactly know how much information is transferred between parents to children, and it seems like there's a lot of talents, whether it's like singing talent or sports talent, that you have to wonder, like, is that coming from genes or is that coming from the environment which this child grows up, which this person, or is it a combination of all those factors? Like. I wonder if someone gets really a very intelligent person gets very good at chess early on. I wonder if some information or some proclivity to, for the game gets transferred. I, I think uh, the reaction in, in the chess community, at least with certain people, was uh, more along the lines of how could such a lousy player have such a good son at, at chess with, <laughs> with my dad. Uh,